Thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel, Pelican Bay Dog Talking News for the day. Giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button before you get up out of here. Drop down in the comments like you always do. You know, like you always do. We got some dog talk for the day. Um, big shout out to all the dog lovers from one side of the country to the other side of the country, from one side of the world to the other side of the world. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's get into that dog talk for the day, man. I want to send a big shout out, a big salute to all my subscribers, everybody that been rocking with me, um, all the new subscribers, uh, everybody that been rocking with me in the last live Saturday Night Live. Big salute to you, everybody that was in the in the chat from the start to the end. All my brothers that came at the end of the video, you know, big salutes to you. You know what I'm saying? Big salutes to you. Uh, big shout out to brother Pro and Game Mag, why, why be nobody for uh, representing with me on the chat uh, this Saturday night. Um, big salute to brother J Bo, holding it down, holding it down. Um, shout out to all the dog man, man. Shout out to all the dog man. I want to send a special shout out to brother Legion Fury Thirteen. You know what I'm saying? Special shout out to Legion Fury Thirteen. Uh, big shouts out to all the brothers, man. Like I always say, Hunt Down, Supreme Excellence One, MRR Lionhead, um, Mr. 216. Uh, salute all y'all brothers, man. Um, John Kramer, um, Russell Shaw, Liquid Luck, City Boy Kennels, Marcel Shepard, uh, Melvin Brown, um, uh, Paris J, uh, Landon Hill. Big salute to all y'all brothers, man, for showing up. You know, uh, this Saturday the night pass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do want to say uh, for the next couple weeks, a lot of my edited videos will be cut back because I got to do some training. I was telling y'all about the dog named Ace that I'll be training the pit bull. Uh, I'll show you, you know, where I start at with Ace. You know, I'm going to show you where I start at, but I'm not going to really have too much time to play around with the cameras right now. Um, I'm going to give you some stuff. But for the most part, I got to stay focused on what I got to do. Um, get this pit bull train. Uh, and do it how I know how to do it, you know. Um, so when I, I will give it to you on the camera. But what I'm saying is, you know, for the ones that watch my videos every day, you know, you might not get the same style. I'll probably be doing more live videos, more or less. You know, instead of the editing, I'll be doing more live because I won't have time to do the editing. I'll just come up and jump on live and we'll rock out on live for an hour or so or whatever. So um y'all just rock with me. Stay tuned. Um, like I said, subscribe to the page if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh you're gonna be out of the loop on different videos if you haven't subscribed. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't subscribed, because I might not do all the videos uh in premieres. You know, I might not do all the videos where I'm announcing them on Facebook and stuff like that. Some might just pop up on my YouTube. So you need to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, the dog name is Ace. I'm ready to get, get to working with him. You know, um, it's going to be a very exciting project for me. Um, oh, on another thing, when it comes to uh, Mellow Yellow, I want you to check her out. You know, so I want you to check her out. I think she's caught. She has about a month left. Uh, in her pregnancy now when it comes to Mellow Yellow which is a walk of red she's one of the best uh, Big John Little John females I had she's uh, you know and I had a lot of them you know what I'm saying I had a lot of them she reminds me of this one I had of Little John named Split Tongue a male she moves like him but she's about the size of um, she's a little bit bigger actually she's a little bit bigger than my my old crazy eyes um Tornado, Crazy Eyes Tornado, which was Walkamoth Jocko, Little Mate's sister. Walkamoth Jocko, Little Mate's sister. That's what Meliolo kind of reminds me of um, in a way, but she's a tad bit bigger. She got the attitude of her. Her name was Pelican Bay's Libya or Libby, you know, Walks Libby. Same dog, Libby. I, I named her Libya. They called her Libby, you know. Um, and, uh, like I said, the dog split tongue, the dog split tongue was like 
a super, super, super energetic dog, athletic dog, flirt pole, and I'm talking about, man, you can you just want to bring him out just to let your friends see how he flirt pole. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of flirt pole he was. But um, yeah, she just got you know little traits of both of them I could see in them. You know, and if this was the Wild Wild West days, you know what I'm saying? I know she'll be uh, Lisa Graham. Champion wouldn't be no, it wouldn't be nothing to make her a champion. But the main thing, man, I'm just hoping she caught. You know, like I said, I got about a month left. You know, you could take a look at her from different angles in this video that I'm showing you. Um, you know, just hoping she caught, man. She should drop puppies uh, around the end of November. You know, around the end of November. Now, this next video I'm going to give you, this red lady. Uh, I want y'all to sit back, check it out. She's uh, got four times Barracuda in the fourth generation. Two times Damien in the fourth generation. She got... um. Stone City, Jesse James Rod in the fourth generation. Uh, so you know how that's, you know, bred up. But y'all sit back and check it out. What's going on? What's going on? I'm out here at Red Lady. She's in heat right now. Ain't that right, girl? Ain't that right, girl? This is Hogg's daughter. J.D. Hogg's mama. J.D. Hogg's mama. Gonna run her back to Fletcher. This dog is a phenomenal producer. Phenomenal producer. As you can see, she's full of energy. Ain't that right, girl? Ain't that right, girl? Full of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that right, girl? Ain't that right, girl? Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 She wanna wrestle and get all up in your face. Yeah, she's in heat right now. I'm just, yesterday was her first day bleeding. Yeah, ain't that right, red lady? Ain't that right, red lady? So I got red lady coming, she's coming in heat right now. We got um, the Michael Myers' daughter, which was Michael Myers' daughter, bred back to back though, little Joe. That was um, BG bred to Fletcher. Got that little coming. Then I got uh, Mellow Yellow bred back to, uh, you know, her little coming. And like I said, this is... Uh, Daughter of Hog. Daughter of Hog. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. 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 Like I said, she's a great producer. Great producer. Great producer. Ain't that right, girl? This is gonna make a little of them old family, old family Southern Reds. Along with Mellow Yellow Litter will be Old Family Southern Reds. These are Old Family Southern Reds. The breeding I'm gonna make with this female. Not Old Family Red Dogs, but Old Family Southern Reds is a difference. Not saying one is better than the other one or nothing like that, but it's just, it's a difference, man, it's a difference. Ain't the right girl. Ain't the right girl. Good T. Ain't the right girl. Like I said, she just started bleeding today. So we gonna count 10 days from the day. Well, she started bleeding yesterday, but I'm gonna count 10 days from the day. And that's gonna be our first, when I do our first breeding, you know? 
Most folks say 10 days from the first time you spot blood. Not 10 days from the swelling, 10 days from the first time you spot blood. You know, and that's when she'd be fertile. From the 10th to the 16th day, and give or take, some dogs, you know, they, they go out throughout their whole, uh, throughout their whole keep, releasing eggs. Once they, you know, pass that 10th day, they release them eggs. For those who don't know, it's all about waiting till the female dog release her eggs. She'll be in heat, but if she haven't released her eggs yet, then there's nothing for the sperm to fertilize when you breed your dog. So what you want to do is wait till she releases the eggs. That's why we mean by waiting 10 days after you see the blood. You know, most dogs will start releasing their eggs then, whether it's 10 eggs, five eggs. Some dogs release two eggs a day, two eggs a day three eggs tomorrow, five eggs the next day. So when you breed on that one day and she only released three eggs, then you're gonna get you three puppies, you know? But if she released 10 eggs that day, then you'll get 10 puppies. If she released three eggs one day and you breed them that day, and then the next time you breed them, she released seven eggs, then you'll get 10 puppies. You know, it's just all about how many eggs she released whenever she's releasing her eggs. Ain't it right, Red Lady? But yeah, man. Appreciate everybody rocking with the bay last night on the uh, Saturday Night Live. Me and Pro and Game Mag and um, Brother Nobody, YB. Salute to Brother YB with the phenomenal puppies you just dropped, my brother. Salute to you with the phenomenal puppies you just dropped. Great bread dog right here. Great producing dog. Ain't the right puppy. Great mama dog as well. Uh, I want to say she produced. Um, I want to say she produced JD, maybe four litters. I want to say she had four litters so far. Anime, quiet that noise. Anime have the most annoying bark ever. I can hear it all the way up the street. Out of all the dogs, you can hear her bark. So when you hear that, when you hear that crazy sounding bark, you know that's anime. Now, now I do got a few questions, you know what I'm saying? Which one of y'all got a, uh, got dogs off the famous dog Rusty? <laughs> Whoa, they say, that, they say that's what Red Devil name got changed to, Rusty. You know what I'm saying? Rusty. Now, my other question, I still ain't got answered yet. What did Red Devil get registered as? Jeep, Eli, Bolio, Tombstone? Bolero, Chinaman, Yellow, what? You know, because it had to be a set of papers sitting around. Had to be a set of papers sitting around. I mean, hey, right now, you know, all brothers want to know is, you know, what's what? You know what I'm saying? Um, can't do no more damage than already done. You know what I'm saying? Can't do no more than it's already done. The, the damage has been done already in the past. You know, these brothers got the dogs they got now. I mean, and they like them, so they don't care about what it came off of 13 generations ago. They just want to know what Rusty was, what Rusty was uh, registered under. You know what I'm saying? Rusty, a.k.a. Red Devil. Now, I told y'all boys. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Oh. Now, I want to ask Working Line K9 this. Because, see, he, he asked me to explain the keep. I explained the, the, the pre-keep on a couple videos back. And I explained the beginning of the keep a couple videos back. But then I go check his Facebook and he got me blocked. See, that's that young boy shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand all that. You know, I don't understand it. 
But at the end of the day, don't ask me no questions about no dogs no more. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't got time for them feminine ways and 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 trying to fit in ways. You know what I'm saying? When brothers trying to fit in with another crowd. I don't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, keep it stepping. You know what I'm saying? Keep it stepping. I only got time for the real dog lovers and the real bull doggers. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like they always say, time will tell. Time will surely tell. On another note real quick, you know, just this is y'all opinion real quick. Did y'all see that fight last night? Tyson Fury and old, old Francis. Man, they cheated Francis. They cheated Francis. Tyson Fury got beat. And I'm going to tell you why my opinion is that Tyson Fury got beat. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He the champion. He a professional boxer, best in the world in the heavyweight division. Okay. You boxing against a man who has no, no bo professional boxing uh, experience. Okay. One. Two. You got knocked down. Three, you went 12 rounds. It's automatically, it automatically, if a man who does does not box goes 12 rounds with a professional boxer, you know, he gets points for that. It's automatic. You know what I'm saying? Just because he's not a boxer and he goes 12 rounds with a pro professional. So he automatically gets points for that. Then he scored the knockdown, which automatically, you know what I'm saying, Tyson would have had to play catch up. To come back home that knockdown. You know. They gave Tyson some points and all that. Because they were saying about he was jabbing. But he wasn't landing no jabs like that. You know what I'm saying. They cheated that man out that belt. They cheated that man out that belt. If it was in Vegas. They would have blamed it on Vegas. And say you know Vegas had something to do with it. You know. But shout out to them, them Saudi folk. For putting on a great show. Out there in Saudi Arabia last night man. You know, shout out to them folk for putting on a great show. That was one of the best boxing events I seen to start to show up in my lifetime when it come to uh, professional boxing. You know what I'm saying? And they, I, I don't know who had something to play in this part. I think there was Vegas judges over there. You know what I'm saying? We might have to start using Saudi judges. You know, because in Vegas... They, they try to make sure Tyson win that fight because he had another fight planned in December. So if he lose that fight, that's going to mess the money fight up in December for the Vegas folk. See, that's why they had to do that, man. They had to do it. That's why money corrupts all the sports, man. Money corrupts all the sports, you know, to an extent. You start throwing money, people will throw football games, throw basketball games, throw, um, you know, bet on baseball games like Pete Rose. You know what I'm saying? Even with the dog game, you know, money takes over all sports when it comes to certain people in them sports. You know what I'm saying? Certain people in the sports. But yeah, man, I think um, Tyson Fury, to me, myself, person, I'm not going to watch no more of his fights. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, they took that belt from old Francis last night. You know, and I can't pronounce his last name that, that good. So I just say Francis. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody who's seen it, out of 10 people who've seen it, at least seven of them say they, they, you know, Tyson Fury won that fight. All the boxers, all the professional boxers, they say Tyson Fury won the fight. You know what I'm saying? Not Tyson Fury, not Tyson Fury, excuse me. All the professional boxers say Francis won the fight. Say Francis won the fight. All of them. Not one boxer, but majority you you maybe have one or two boxes in the professional league that say Tyson Fury won it but everybody say Francis won it you know what I'm saying everybody but as we keep that dog talk moving you know I do want to discuss something I was talking about last night on the live when I was saying I felt like Kobe was the Michael Jordan in this dog game you know what I'm saying you got brothers like William Lightner pioneers you know a lot of them brothers back then were pioneers um the brother that had um pilot dog pioneers but none of them did it like how kobe did it you know what i'm saying uh i just think kobe did it on a level that may may cannot be reached again you know what i'm saying um wild wild west days lawless days and plus what he did by breeding so many years consistently with the laws the way he is you know, a brother, you know, and the law, you know, just period with the laws the way it is. You can't live in the, the wild, wild west days. You know what I'm saying? So you really can't 
see certain things. You know what I'm saying? You really can't see certain things. And Kobe was in that area where he can check, see this, see that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was just, it's different. You know, and he did that from 1800s to the 1900s, all the way up until the late 1900s. You know what I'm saying? Um, whether, you know, he was still breeding good dogs or not, it just, uh, a lot of brothers took the stock that he was running and ran it their own ways. And some of them brothers try to take credit for different dogs and they left Kobe behind. And while they making all these ill crosses, now the Kobe dogs are considered the less gamer dogs when you see a Kobe dog in your pedigree. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, uh, what makes a what I would think what makes a Kobe dog valuable is when your dog say Kobe from the 1900s to the 2023. If your dog say Kobe from the 1900s to 2023 without going back out to anybody else dogs, you know what I'm saying? That's a pure Kobe dog. That's a dog worth having on your yard just for, you know, just for that pedigree. You know what I'm saying? Just for the pedigree. Why wouldn't you want to have a dog that came from the man directly from the man without being crossed out to nothing else? All his line of dogs, all his family line of dogs, you know? Why wouldn't you? You know, why would you, uh, you know, um, I mean, if you got room, you know, if you don't got room, like, you know, a lot of brothers, you have to keep certain dogs. But, I mean, a pure Kobe dog, a dog with nothing but Kobe dogs in it from top to bottom, from 1900s to 2023, you know, I would think it's worth some money. Now, it's different when you're saying this a Kobe dog, but uh, the Kobe's didn't breed the dog. You got different brothers that bred it, different brothers that bred it that defeats the purpose. You know what I'm saying? The name Kobe's not in the background. That's what I mean when the name Kobe is in the background. You know? Um, and like I said, it's, he the Michael Jordan of the game, in my opinion. You know, a lot of brothers did a lot of great things when it come to this breeding from back then to now. Brothers still doing great things, but Kobe did it for a longer period of time. And it don't really necessarily have something to do with him being such a great dog, man, but have something to do with the time of era that he came up in. You know, different times allow you to be certain, you know, allow you to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? And this time would never allow you to do the things Kobe did back in them days. You know, this day and time would never allow you to have a Kobe's pincher, you know, the way he had that dog. And... I do want to touch on the thing that Pro and Game Mag was talking about last night as far as when we weapon these puppies. And he was saying, you know, um, we was talking about the puppies dying, not being healthy. Excuse me. We was talking about the puppies dying and not being healthy. Um, and he was saying about the, how you handle the puppies at a certain age. What he was talking about was the neurological stimulation. Um, it, it's, it's done between the third and the 16th day, you know, third and the 16th day is when you do it. And it basically builds the dog immune system, makes the dog where, um, what they consider a super dog, you know, it just boosts all his different vital things up, you know, um, and it's have scientific proof that it works. So just do a little research. If you haven't heard about it yet, the neurological stimulation of, of newborn puppies. You know what I'm saying? Um, check it out. Now I want to ask old OTF. Old OTF Aubrey, I want to ask you, um, what happened to old Adolf? Why he ain't out there for stud no more? Why he ain't considered the best red boy jock on the East Coast? Why when a brother uh, post and say he want to get a, a big John, who got the best big John studs, you posting Little Thunder and Scar Dogs now. But last year you was arguing with the creators of the line saying, oh, the mixes are better. I done created mixes are better. Mixes are better. Now you're back running the pure stuff again. Now you're back running the pure stuff. And when I say pure, everybody breathe different. You know what I'm saying? I can't help if you only got five years in this family. I can't help you only got 10 years in that family. You know what I'm saying? It take time to build up a, a family of dogs where you say pure. When I say pure, I mean, oh, one or two particular dogs is in every single dog in that pedigree. Every single dog. 
you know, different folks breed different ways. But what I'm trying to figure out is why Adolf fell off the map. Why Adolf fell off the map. He fell off the map. Before we found out about Red Devil, even though he full of that Red Devil stuff, he fell off, he fell off the map before then. Now the little thunder and scar dog on the map. Little Thunder and Scar. <clears throat> what you know about Little Thunder? You know a lot about me, but you don't know nothing about Little Thunder. But you're advertising it. Papers look good, though. Papers look good. Papers look good. Mm-hmm. I just want to know what happened to old, um, old um, Adolf. Why he ain't being advertised for stud? Wouldn't he be the best if he was the best last year? Why wouldn't he be the best? Hey, I tell brothers, man. I tell brothers. <laughs> Some brothers, everything is all about a puppy sale. They'll attack you for a puppy sale. They'll start drama with you for a puppy sale. they do anything for a puppy sale when it comes to selling the dogs that they got on their yard. They will do anything when it comes to getting rid of their stock. You know what I'm saying? No middle difference if it's tearing down the man they got it from. Oh, I bred him better than he did. This and all that. They're going to get rid of them dogs. You know? They're going to get rid of them dogs. And no Arbor, he got to bounce around from place to place. He can't go to the source and get none. I done told him already. When you burn your bridge a whole a couple years ago, a year and a half, you know, it just is what it is. Now you're scraping, scraping and running around trying to get some of that pure stuff and got to get it from any Tom, Dick, and Harry. You be them, they them be them, get you one of them fake, one of them fake big John dogs, one of them bootleg big John dogs. <laughs> yeah, especially when you ain't getting it from <laughs> the source. But hey, you ain't heard it from me, man. You ain't heard it from me. All I know is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, just a little dog talk for the day. Y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Watch some football. Sit back. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy your dinner. Um, enjoy your evening. Stay safe out there with them dogs. Stay legal out there with them dogs. And remember where you heard it first. PBK9s. I'm out.